Francisco. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marisol Malaret, and I come from Puerto Nuevo, San Francisco. Seventh place among the 15 semifinalists goes to Miss Puerto Rico. Congratulations, girl. Now, if you believe it, Miss Puerto Rico speaks English, and your name is Marisol Malare. And what is your job? I'm an executive secretary in Amado. Uh huh. And. Uh, what would uh, you like to do? I understand that you hope to be married, is that Oh, right? yes, sir. How old do you think you should be to be married? I don't know. I'm just waiting for it. I know. I don't think that when love comes, that will be perfect. No special age at all. And you think it can happen any time? Yes, sir. You just go right out there. There may be a man <laughs> near that ramp out there someplace. There you go, Mr. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Rico is Marisol Malaret Contreras, and she's from Puerto Nuevo. She's 20 years old, has dark brown hair and green eyes, is 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall, and weighs 125 pounds. Miss Puerto Rico! Miss Austin, here are the names of the five finalists. One of these girls will be Miss Universe of 1970, and the first name is Miss Puerto Rico! <laughs> Miss Puerto Rico, would you step over to the microphone, please? The judges are here. And Miss Puerto Rico, your question is, please, you won't be able to hear the question, audience. The question is, why do you want to be Miss Universe? Oh, I would like to be Miss Universe for the first reason, because I will get to travel the whole universe, and for me, getting to know every human being in this earth will be the most imperfect thing in the whole world. Thank you, Miss Puerto Rico. Would you step back here? Would you step right down here, please, Miss Puerto Rico? Now, girls, one of you is going to become Miss Universe. The other will be the first runner-up. The position of first runner-up is very important because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligation, then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. All right, good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss USA, Miss Puerto Rico, with Miss Universe. USA, D.D. Anstead has her robe for her. There we are. Would you step over, D.D., and put her robe on her? There we are. Put your arms through. May I help you? That's the girl. And John Rose, you have her scepter, do you not? Would you give her her scepter, please? And Gloria will read the creed. Give her her scepter. There you are. May I have your arm? Gloria will read the creed as you make your traditional walk. Miss Universe of 1970. We, the young women of the Miss Universe beauty pageant, believe that people of goodwill in all countries are seeking peace, justice, and understanding. We pledge to spread this message of friendship in every way, wherever we can go. Well, Miss Puerto Rico is Marisol Malaret Contreras. She's 20 years old, 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall, and weighs 125 pounds. She's from Puerto Nuevo. Her ambition is to get married and have children. Well, the tension is over for one more year with the counting of Miss Puerto Rico as Miss Universe, 1970. I'm sure you join with me in wishing her the best of luck in the exciting year ahead of her. This is June Lockhart saying goodnight for Bob Barker and for myself. Thank you very much.
Good night. The Miss Universe Beauty Pageant has been brought to you from Miami Beach by Crest, the Cavity Fighter. And by Safeguard, the perfect family soap. And by Bold, the detergent that gets colors bright. Permission for special lyrics of This Could Be the Start of Something was given by composer Steve Allen. Audio for contestants' production numbers were recorded. And from the land of sun, sand, and surf, Florida, this is Chuck Zink saying, Good night, everyone. There's no control.